Maker Faire Kansas City is a family-friendly event to create, learn, invent, craft, think, play, and be inspired by celebrating arts and crafts, engineering, food, music, science, and technology. Maker Faire celebrates things people create themselves, from a basketball playing robot, to home-brewed recipes and Tesla coil music. With over 270 makers and over 10,000 attendees, Kansas City's Union Station was abuzz with flamethrowers, Tesla coils, quadcopters, robots, exotic cars, boffers, and most importantly, an amateur radio station. This was no regular ham radio station. Various emergency services of Kansas City came together to participate in ham radio's biggest on-the-air event, Field Day. The objective of Field Day is to make as many contacts with other operators in a 24-hour period. For every contact, points are awarded and bonus points are given for operating in public areas, using emergency power like solar cells and generators, and allowing guests to get on the air at a go-to station. And what better place to get on the air at the first Maker Fair Field Day? With the idea sparked by Noah Dunker KD0NRC and the genius of John Hoshide W0BBQ, Bob Kimroll W0AO, and Brian Short KC0BS, and the generosity of the Salvation Army and many others came a station that was nestled right in the middle of all the activity. K0C, the call sign of the station, operated three radios on three antennas, two dipoles, and a vertical, and was active on most HF bands using SSB, CW, and various digital modes. With the threat of rain, record heat, bugs, and Tesla coil bands, the operators cranked out only 563 contacts. But for almost every on-the-air contact, the station influenced 20 Maker Fair attendees. Field Day awards bonus points to stations at which any person can operate, and from that, guest operators came in large numbers at Maker Faire. As long as a licensed ham was present, Maker Faire patrons had free roam on the ham radio bands and got to learn what it was like to operate on what they believed to be an antiquated and obsolete technology. In retrospect, ham radio is far from obsolete. With the ever-present danger of disaster, ham radio stands as the world's best communications backup. When phone lines, internet, or satellite links are destroyed, nothing else can support national and international communications without infrastructure like ham radio can. But before the big one hits, hams enjoy using radios to promote international camaraderie, learn about and build electronic circuits, compete in contests, and promote the hobby to others. As the ARRL youth editor, I was very excited to see several young hams sit in the operator's chair. Sonny Fontes, an 11-year-old ham, got licensed with the help of Brian Short and hamclass.org and got to walk around with his first handheld radio thanks to Brian. With the call sign KD0SHI, he talked with a few of the operators around Maker Faire before returning with it and upgrading to HF. Sonny is a brilliant young man. He could tell you the difference between Mylar and electrolytic capacitors and has an interest in vacuum tubes. With Bob Kimbrell logging, he took to the operator's chair instantly and made several contacts eyeing the regenerative receiver on display at the go-to table the entire time. Another young man, Will Stewart, came to the operator's table. Genuine surprise came to the entire team as he patiently struggled to make his first QSO. With both RF and audio noise coming from Architect, the Tesla coil band, he discovered firsthand how difficult it can be to make contact. After several minutes, though, he finally came out on top with applause from all. And then say 7 Alpha Missouri. 7 Alpha Missouri. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> With temperatures forecasted to break 100 degrees, Sunday saw much less outdoor activity as the Maker Faire patrons sought refuge indoors. The K0C team fought through the heat and shade, as well as in the air conditioned trailer and Salvation Army canteen, and still had several guests as the shade and air conditioning caught passers by. To K0C, Field Day wasn't about making points. It was about making new hams and spreading the word about amateur radio. The event was resoundingly successful for both Maker Faire and the K0C team.